my guys and girls, welcome back to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. So, you're probably thinking you're rounding out whole week looking like this. My lovelies, what would you do if I told you it was five o'clock in the morning? And I'm just so excited to get this blooming haul out. And you know what? The range is probably my most favourite haul of the year. I'm not going to lie, I blooming love it. And as you can see, we have a huge bag and also another bag filled so my lovelies i do hope you're ready because um i have a feeling this is going to be a long one because we have got a long receipt i've got all the prices here because as you know with the range a lot of the stuff they don't put prices on so you've got to kind of try and improvise let's get into it because we're going to end black friday whole week with a bang eh? <laughs> right so I don't know if you can tell, I've actually got the tree on. The tree is lit up for this because I was like, you know what? I tried to have it with the light off and just having the Hollywood light and the Christmas tree because I really wanted it to look festive. I really wanted a festive vibe, but it was too dark. So um, you'll be seeing the lovely tree, I'm sure, throughout Vlogmas in the dark. But for filming, I needed to have the mainstream light on. So I'm going to say let's start with the tiny bag. But... When I say tiny, it's still jam-packed. So um, we are going to go with it. I'm going to try and not grab it on because, as I say, I don't want this to be like an hour and a half vlog. But there is a lot of stuff here, right? There is a lot of stuff, my lovelies. So you're probably thinking, Shan, did you need any blooming ball balls? Yes, actually. I actually did need some ball balls because there's a few spare spaces on my tree that's just screaming out for some red and white baubles. So this is two for six for three pounds. So 50p per little bauble, but it is a, can you tell they're like glitter iridescent ones? I just thought these were really cute. They kind of gave me like Grinch vibes, like proper Grinch, candy cane, all of that vibe. If you had to say what your favourite Christmas theme is, is it like the reds and golds, greens and silvers, candy cane. I think, hands down, the whole candy cane theme. Like, I would love to have a tree with them big candy canes sticking out. Like, I would also love to have, like, the Grinch's legs as, like, my um fairy just, like, hanging out of a tree. But I don't think we're going to quite get there. So, uh, we're going to go with it and just decorate as much as we can for candy cane. Now, I can't remember. You know what? It's so bad because when stuff goes up... They scan it through so quick and I'm like, uh, excuse me, excuse me. And there's not really a large conveyor belt on the ones in our range. So it is a little bit annoying because you're like, hold on a minute. Where are you? And I really don't know where this is. I have a feeling, oh, there we are, £2, £1.99. And it's called Twinkle Twinkle Fragrance Candle. Not going to lie, it hasn't really got a scent. It is very fresh, but I'm not really getting much of it. But I just liked it. I like the star shape. I don't quite know if I would maybe put a votive or a tea light in that. Or potentially just keep it and once it's disintegrated, give it a clean out. It could be like a little snack pot. You might think that's really weird, but I liked it because it had like this glitter trim around it. So yeah, and I mean, if I see a candle... I'm going to have to take it, ain't I? I just, I can't not. We didn't need any more, but I picked them up. They were down to 75p, so it's 40 luxury traditional gift tags. I like these because, I don't know about you, but when I do my wrapping, I do like to keep it kind of traditional. She says kind of. If you see my wrapping, my wrapping is atrocious. I'm not going to lie. Um, kind of how I'm looking right now, absolutely atrocious. I do apologise that we're not even in Vlogmas and you're getting me like this first thing in the morning. I do apologise, my lovely, but you're going to be seeing me like this quite a lot over the next month. So yeah, um, my wrapping is horrendous. I, If it's not in a box or it's not of like a square rectangle shape, hopeless, absolutely hopeless. So if anyone's getting presents from me, I will apologise for the wrapping beforehand. Now again, did I need these? No, but did I see them and fall in love? Yes. So these ones, if I remember correctly, were £1 and I think you would get 12 Yeah, 12 
12 little napkins, but they had little gonks on. So I was like, I need these in my life. Like, I need. I really didn't need, but they were cute. And then this pack, I think, is 20. And these were about £1.50 to £2. But I really like these ones. These are like the traditional dear stag vibe and you know me when it comes to christmas we always have our platters out so i like to have napkins on the platters just to jazz it up and i have a feeling the way i'm thinking with vlogmas this year so i will daily vlog but you'll get your vlogmas upload every sunday it's probably gonna be a long one let's uh let's go with that i'm gonna reckon well over an hour for every vlogmas and then because there's a lot of Christmas food, so we still have the 24 hours of which we'll keep specific bits. But I'm thinking every week, so if you've been following me since last Christmas, you'll know I do like a Vlogmas week one. And then I do like a little description as my title. So it might be like ideal Christmas home show, baking, anything like that. I think what I'm going to do is do Vlogmas week one. And then every week we will kind of taste test a certain selection. So it might be like Sainsbury's food or M&S food or Asda because there is a lot of Christmas food out this year and it's going to be way too much to do in one video. Like 24 hours, it's probably going to be a whole week eating Christmas food. So I think I might just split it up and then incorporate into the vlogs, which a lot of you have seemed to prefer because there is there is going to be a lot of food. I can't I can't help it, my lovelies. Um, but we will still have like our home cooking in there. So it will probably be like say Monday to Friday will be the weekly food where we can just chuck stuff in the oven after work, and then the Saturdays and Sundays will be like home cooked food. So best believe you're going to be seeing the Yorkshire puddings. All right, my little mini mountains will be coming back. Let's say that now this isn't anything to do with christmas but i saw it and i just really wanted it for queenie this was 3.99 and it is a queen elizabeth ii like memorial mug and it says forever our queen i just really like that because as we all know i have a little cabinet where like random cups and mugs and tequila glasses go in and i thought i like that for queenie just kind of a little bit of um a little bit of memorabilia to remember her life really Oh, there is so much random stuff in here. Oopsie. Right. This I actually have no idea. But I'm going to say... She says... I think that this was... I don't know. At least they put the code in on it. What's your number? 143. Then you scan it for a 143. Maybe it's not 143. Guys, I got this um, big bauble. But you're probably thinking, Shan, it's not a bauble. It's actually a plaque that I can't... Can I get out? Yeah, I got out. Look at this. There's not even a description on it, but it lights up. How cute is that? Merry Christmas, it's got deers, and then as I say, on the back, you put your battery packs in, and it lights up. Oh my god, I don't know what they go by. Do they go by, maybe it's not the skew, is it the barcode? Is there a 149? She must have charged me, because this was one of the last things... That come out oh hanging deer scene four three i completely missed one four three four ninety nine i don't think that's too bad because i think that's really like diverse i like that i picked it up just because i like the ball ball design and then when i saw it was a, like a light up i was like oh oh my god yes you are coming home straight with me now um a lot of this bag is non-essentials okay as you all know we love to have stuff on the doors and handles however we haven't got any more doors or handles to have them on but i still wanted some more jingle bells these were 199 i remember that because they had a few designs a few different colors of the bells but i kind of went with the classic kind of well it's white but it looks kind of powdered blue on the screen jingle bells jingle bells there is jingle bells everywhere in this house okay we are full festive mode all right we don't go and do it by heart this little guy i just want to double check but i am sure 
he was two pound because there was a whole like family of these and i was like oh my god i need him and it was like no you don't oh 2.99 2.99 but they had ones with like um little holding presents they had one with a santa claus hat on but i just got this little sitting gonk with a holly wreath i thought it was quite cute and it's got like the little long dangly legs cute as you can tell, all of my um, sensibility goes out of the window at Christmas. To be honest, it kind of goes out of the window from September onwards. Once I get in the autumn spirit and Halloween and then you have winter and Christmas. I mean, I settle down a little bit for January. Then I get hyped up a bit for Valentine's. Even though me and Mama G were having a Galentine's next year. But I still like to have a bit of red heart tinsel and get in the mood for love. And February for me is very much like a self-care month. I like to look after myself. I'm going to the log cabin next year, early February. Is it early February? Or is it end of January? I don't actually know. I think it's early February. I think it might be the first or second week. So you've got another log cabin video coming next year, guys. Another um tour of Shannon taking on the UK on her own. Woohoo! Right, this I'm not gonna lie, is pricey for what it was, but I blooming loved it. Oh, I just can't. It's a gingerbread star platter, and oh! see, this is what I mean by having like little classic items that I'm gonna keep for years and years to come, and likewise with my Halloween bits, I don't want like complete sets, I want a really mumbo jumbo set to be honest i might get like a christmas set for when i move out like just for christmas day like a proper uniformed one but in the run-up to christmas i want everything like unique i just want it that if i like it and i've got it and it brings back a memory or something so i saw this this was six pound which you're probably thinking shan it's pricey for a silly little dish but i think it's the detailing and i was going to end up getting the mug and the travel mug and a big one but i i stopped at this okay I had a voice of reason and we stopped at just the star platter. But the voice of reason could not stop me <laughs> from getting another gonk. When I tell you this is so soft, oh my God. And again, it's a little sitting one, but actually it's not a little one. You're quite a big fella, isn't you? Like you could fully sit on my shoulder. <gasps> You know, like when people have a parrot on their shoulder, that's how I feel like. I feel like I can't move because you're just so cute on there. But let's topple you down. 6002. What are we going to say the price is? Because I think he was about £8. So wrong. Four ninety nine. Oh my God, right. We are going to definitely add you to the Gonk family. We are going to add you. Did I tell you in one of the other halls that I come home one day and found mum running around the house counting the amount of gonks we have? That may be a um, reoccurring theme throughout Vlogmas because we're going to keep adding to the gonks. And then maybe we might have a hide and seek episode. You know people have like Elf on the Shelf. What could we... What rhymes with gonk? Bonk, conk, bonk, honk, monk. Honk, ronk, tonk. Nothing really rhymes with gonk. Like you have elf on a shelf. You could have gonk. Gonk on the wonk. Oh my god, gonk, gon wonk. I think we might have to start that. We, I might have to have like a naughty gonk every morning. Just do something. <gasps> if you want to see that, leave in the comments, wonk. If you leave the word wonk, I'll know you've seen it and let me know if you want that to be a little um so normally most mornings like you see me open my advent calendar maybe me and mum could take it in turns for gonk to be on the wonk and do something bad look at this I'm talking absolute rubbish right these I couldn't I could not not get them because they were cute okay absolutely cute and they were why do they never put the... Some things are like really good descriptions and then some are just so vague. I'm like, what is that supposed to be? I'm guessing it's these Xmas glass jars. Yes. So we have one... So the baby one is 2 49 and the large one is 3 49 However, 
I just had to. I had to because I've just lost the top. The only thing with these, the lids ain't attached. Let me see that. Oh my god, now my phone's buzzing away. Let's have a look. So two forty nine and three forty nine. But guys, can you see they've got little gingerbread on? The only thing, however, the tops are not like a screw on top. It's literally just a cork cap. So you do have to be careful. I don't know what I would put in these. Oh my God, I've just had a thought because there is candy canes on these. Could I fill them with candy canes? Mini candy canes and big candy canes. I, th I think these are going to be candy cane jars now. <gasps> or at least like gingerbread. I've got to put in on what's on the thing. Because I don't want to put like sugar and flour and nothing like that in it. I actually want... Yeah. Oh my God, I'm so excited for them. I just wish that their lids were a bit different, you know. But hey-ho, not going to grumble. Right. This, I thought was an absolute bargain. This was £6.99. Look at the detailing on this. It's kind of like the hand-blown glass. And it's just got a gorgeous, like, filigree design. And I'm going to take the sticker out because I know that I'm keeping this one. And it lights up. How cute is that? It just has one singular set of lights running through it. But that is gorgeous. I mean, just look at the light that it radiates now. That is so cute. And I'm sure it was, like, 6 dollars I'm sure it was. Yeah, $6.99. I love this. Love it, love it, love it. And I don't quite know. Oh, it's one of them like little, you know, the disc batteries, like the circle ones. So we'll have to see when that runs out because mum, as you would have seen in Panland, we stocked up on batteries. Everything of an evening is like a discotheque in the older. Oh my God, I said discotheque. I sound like Nana G. <laughs> Everything in the hall at night is like flashing away and... It's just loving life. Now, this was £5. Did I need another one? Probably not. Did I see it though and fall in love? Yes. It is a cookie jar. You're thinking, Shan, you've got cookie jars. I know. But this one had a little heart on and it's a little pink gonk. I couldn't not. They did have these in a few sizes and they had different styles on the top. I think they had gonks and snowmen. So... Am I going to keep you or are you going back? I don't know. I don't know. Because Mama G has said to me when I walked in with all the bags, she was like, Shan, we can't keep all of this. She was like, there is physically no room. And I was like, I know, I know. But so far, everything that I've got out, I don't want to take back. So <laughs> we might be in a little predicament there, my lovelies. This, oh my God, this is what I mean when I say like I'm picking bits up that are just random, but I absolutely love. And they are stuff that I will keep for years on end guys look at this bowl actually this is giving me something like total home sense vibes it is a huge they call it a serving bowl but i would really like they had a small one then they had a giant one they had the jug it was kind of like a dinnerware set i would have liked to have had the set because this i think would be really classic for christmas day but just picked up the one i was good raining in the pennies it was 4.99 for something like this that has this much detail, it's not plastic, it is proper ceramic. You've got the main guy himself. I don't think it's too bad. I've just realised as well, I'm so going to run out of room on this table, ain't I? Yes. So we're going to have to put the receipt there and just pray to God that it don't fall down. And the last thing in this bag, which, let me tell you, the only thing in the range, the baubles are not under the right pricing, I don't think. However, I kind of go by the design I like. And I've tried to go like more traditional. I want to get a lot more traditional ones on the tree. This was £1.79. I love this. So it's not showing much on camera, but it is like a cream. And then it's just got kind of like a present design. You've got the holly on it and bows. Cute. It is hard though, because when you're walking through, you're like, have I got that one? Have I got that one? And a lot of them I do recognise. Like their baubles don't really change in the range from year to year. However, there are quite a few new ones that was out. And I was like, I haven't had you. I haven't got you. 
so you are going in the trolley um my lovelies that's the first bag done i'm gonna say go and get comfy get a drink get a refill because i need to bring this big boy down and we need to get into this because there is a lot of stuff aka plenty more gonks oopsie i literally just saw myself in the viewfinder and was like oh my goodness you're actually filming like that, Shane. Yeah, I am. I thought my plait looked cute, though. Mum plaited my hair last night for me. Right, I've took the bag down because there's no way I would be able to be funnying around doing that. So, I don't even know where to stop. Let's just get an accumulation of the ball balls because I kind of did get a few. But, looking at these, they don't go over the £1.79. No. Holly Bow Ball Ball 179, Glitter Ball Balls 179. No, so a lot of these I would say are under £2, okay? Very traditional vibes. So, I love this one. Oh my god. You know what this reminds me of, my lovelies, right? So, this is a gorgeous emerald green blown glass with gold design, and it's almost like a filigree style. And then you've got little red gems. If you have seen the Pixar film Anastasia about Anastasia Romanov, oh my God, she has like a little, you know, the uh, musical centre, but she has a little green thing. And oh my God, this just so reminded me of this. This is my Anastasia ball ball. And I saw it and I was like, oh, you are going straight in the trolley because I can't, I can't not have you. This was slightly unusual. Oh, please don't say I've just smashed you. No we're all good this was kind of unusual but i just like the simplicity of it so it is a clear ball ball but it's kind of got like a bluey teal leaf design which i really like i thought it was quite classic we do tend to have like some not foliage designs but kind of like some leafy bits and bobs especially on the main tree because it is a snowy one we like to try and keep with the theme you know and then Again, this is really traditional vibes, but something just screamed out to me with these, and I was like, hey ho, it's Christmas. I mean, I know it's November, but from the 1st of November, it's practically Christmas, and that's my excuse all year round. This is another one. Let's move the tag so you can actually see. And it is a red, kind of like frosted design, just with little holly wreaths on. But again, something so, so simple, and I just think they are timeless pieces. Like, I know you have all your colour themes and that, but we don't have colour themes. I said this year upon year, I wish we could have like, we've got one, two, we've got four trees. So we could have colour themed trees, but we just don't. Like our trees are mumbo jumbo. And that's just the way I think they're going to stay. That's the way that we like them. And yeah, this, whoo, I don't know about you guys, but I just love this like teardrop shape. So it's like the same shape of the green one. And it's kind of got, it's giving me like mistletoe vibes. Like mistletoe eucalyptus on there. It's got little pearls on there with the green leafage. Yeah, I'm saying like a mistletoe or eucalyptus style. I just, I love this teardrop style. I mean, even just holding that against the tree. Gorgeous. I don't know if these will all be going on the main tree or my tree. Not entirely sure yet. Oh my goodness, guys getting cramped. Getting cramped. That's not a good sign, is it? <laughs> because you just know the haul is gonna be a long one and then the last thing that i got well i think it's the last ball ball maybe one or two more different designs this i think was two pound but is it gonna show on camera can you see it's almost like a sage green can you see that almost i just thought it was very unusual i love a snowflake on a tree again like the clip-ons i think a snowflake if you've got a bit of a larger space they can just go in and fill it perfectly but i quite like this style green we have a lot of like emeralds and that but nothing like a sagey green you know and i think this is still kind of technically classed as a decoration i think this was about one was this 180 or two pound under two pound but I've got a little bell design. Yes, another bell. It's not a jingle bell though. It's just a normal little bell. And I thought it was cute. Has your little uh, berries on the top. A little bit of a pine cone. Are you going to go on there? Oh God, just trying to fit them all in the Santa bowl. And they stay. Guys, this haul is not going well, is it? Because when I say not going well, 
there's nothing I want to take back yet. Oops. Okay. Oops. Right. Oh, this. If you're looking for houses, right, last year, if you remember and you see the bedroom tour, I've got my big grey house. This one I saw, and I'm sure it was under a tenner. It was. It was nine ninety nine. If you are looking for a house that lights up, go to the range. My big one last year, I think, was about twelve or fifteen pound. If you, as I say, if you've seen the bedroom tour, you'll know what one. But I just wanted like a little cute one. This is baby blue. So first off, we've got the two little Christmas trees there. And then you go up. I just love the detailing on this. It is so, so adorable. It takes, what's the batteries? Two double A's. So two fat batteries. I cannot wait to light this up. I think, oh, I was going to move my skincare unit. And sorry, squeaky chair's back. I was going to move my skincare into maybe a little bit over and have the other house the other side. But I'm thinking this could potentially go in the main room. Oh, I love it. I just blooming love it. I can't help it. The uh, tree's a little bit on the wonk on it, but that's fine. We can uh, bash that out and make that look good. There is no room. I told you guys we're going to lose room. You're going to have to go on the floor, I'm afraid. We've not even started getting in this bag and there's no room. Okay. Breathe, Shannon. We're, we're going to be fine. Oh, my God. These were so cute. If you're looking for little stockings... Go to the range quick. These were £4 down to £1.79. Don't need any more stockings, but I just thought they were so blooming cute. So they're the little elves. They've got Merry Christmas on the top. And you've got the boy and girl elf. You're probably thinking, why have you got a boy and a girl? Because you and Mama G are two girls. But I just thought they was really cute. I don't know whether we'll be keeping these. Maybe not, because they're not the biggest. I mean... I've already got two stockings on my bed. I've got my childhood one with Shannon Leon and I've got my Victoria's Secret big silver sparkly one. There's not a lot in this. This would be fine if you was maybe not doing a Christmas Eve box but you wanted a few little treats. You could put some socks, some sweeties, maybe a face mask in here. But yeah, me and mum, mum don't really have a stocking. Mum's not a stocking type of woman. She is more a Christmas Eve box. And she has that, doesn't she? She does indeed. I got more birds. Did I need more clip-on bits? Absolutely not. Did I see them? Yes. Did I feel Shan? You absolutely have to have them in your life. Oh, there was a bit pricey. Three ninety-nine. You're pricey for little birds. Okay, we're just gonna go with it. We are gonna go with it. So these are little three silver. They are gorgeous, though, ain't they? I don't think you can uh, look at the detailing on that. I think you might have to stay. I am like a clip-on addict. I like my ball balls. Yes, I get really frustrated decorating a tree with ball balls. Put me, give me a bag of like clip-on flowers, clip-on roses, butterflies, birds. I'm happy. That is what I could do all day long. Right. This is where everything starts getting big. And I realise I'm going to have to start putting a lot of stuff on the floor. So, I just want to get a rough price for the bits of these because I don't think they was too bad. So, we've got one. All my eyes now are just scanning for tinsel because everything is tinsel. Oh, okay. Okay, I think I found one. Where's my candy cane? She obviously scanned my candy cane because the lady, she was like, you got a lot of tinsel bits. I was like, yep, yeah, I like tinsel. What can I say? I'm going to say these are around the same. Oh, no, no. So, right, my candy cane was £2.50. Have we got anywhere to hang it? No. You know what? I really wanted to keep this. You know what I said about like having a candy cane themed tree? I just thought this would be really good to like hang off of a few branches. I don't know. You might be thinking, Shan, that is uh, not correct. Or you can hang it on a door. 
but we physically don't have any door space left to start hanging things. Absolutely not. However, I have still bought another few things to hang on doors. So we're going to have to try and find where on earth we can hang these. Now, this was £4.50, but look at that. The design, oh, everything is just falling in the bag now. You've got a little bow at the top, comes down, Merry Christmas. You know us, we love a tinsel decoration on the door. As I say, some people might think it's tacky. We love a bit of tinsel. I'm a 90s baby. I grew up with tinsel, the things hanging from the ceiling, like the big paper mache things, the little chandeliers that you pull out and then you'd like drape them along the thing that was a nightmare to put up. You're putting like tacks in the ceiling and then the heating would come on, they'd just fall down. But these I absolutely love, absolutely love. Will she let me keep them? I don't know. I might say to her, like, we'll have a little look through, and if there's some that are a bit, like, on the wonk, let's just replace it, because there is another one. Can I get to it? Oh, yeah, I can get to it now. This one was two pound. Oh, can I get to it? Is it going to... Oh, everything's just falling. Okay, everything's falling. Help. This was two pound. How cute is this one? It's just the little Santa's hat. Well, I say little. It's not really little, is it? It's quite large. Merry Christmas. And he's got his little holly there. I'm such a child. I am such a child. You know, like when I move out and everyone has like their Christmases, they're really like aesthetic and it's all like nude and bits and bobs. Mine is going to look like a paintball has just gone all over my house because there is not going to be an inch of my home that doesn't have festivities on it. All right. And oh, I, guys, I'm getting very excited now because I don't know which bits to go for next. I think we're going to have to go for the big guy. So, this is not a sitting gonk. This is a gonk. And $8.99, okay? You can't even see who is that big. So, this is a Scandi gonk that they call it. The legs are fixed. So, we have... The rigid legs, these ain't going anywhere. It's not one where it goes up and down. It's just a fixed one. And then you come down. They had loads of colours of these, mine, but I went with the pink one. He's got his little beard. And just look at the little hat design. I love this. And then the sitting gonk is pink. Oh, my God. I am literally... Should we put you on my shoulder, mate? Are you going to stay? I don't think you're going to stay now on me, are you? Guys, I'm in my heaven. I'm in my gonk heaven. You're actually probably sitting there thinking, Shan, come on, darling, like you need to get a grip on reality. No, I don't want to get a grip on reality. Thank you. It's probably about half five in the morning right now on a Friday. It's Friday. Hallelujah. The week is done. Tomorrow's the start of Vlogmas. I look like this and I'm surrounded with my gongs and I'm not I'm not mad about it, okay? I might, like, break my neck trying to get up around this because there's tinsel, there's houses, there's gonks around me. But I love it. I absolutely love it. And I'll tell you what I do love as well. We all know I love tinsel. Did I need any more? No. Did I see these colours and fall in love? Yes. So these are definitely, like, going to be my room. But I've got nowhere else I can put tinsel right now. So these are going to be some new bits for next year. And these were $1.99 each for a piece of 2 meter assorted neon tinsel. So the first one I got is this gorgeous iridescent baby pink with like silver flecks in it. Guys, if you've got any little ones who have like a pink theme, these are actually really good to like wrap around a tree and bulk it up. I think that would be a vibe. Or you could maybe like wrap yourself up in it and make like a little feather boa. Who knows? So we went for the pink iridescent silver theme. And then it also went for like a hot pink style. This has kind of got like silver and it almost looks like orange flecks in the light. But it's very iridescent. I love the way that the light is catching this because, oh, it probably looks very bright on screen for this early in the morning. Like kind of gives you a bit of colour vibes, but love it. Oh, did I need these? No. Actually, the majority of stuff left in the bag, did I need? No. Did I see and just scream? 
yes. So we'll start off with a cushion. This was $8.99 or $7.99. It was under a tenner, $7.99. So you're probably thinking, Shan, it's a lovely teddy bear plain cushion. Oh, no, 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 no. Look. Oh, my God. It's a family of penguins. And if I remember correctly, I was trying to think what my Christmas bedding is. I'm sure it's penguins. I'm really sure it's penguins. So this is going to be fabulous. I do have a cushion like this style. Um, I think it says snuggle and get cozy from Asda a couple of years ago. What am I kicking? Oh, I'm kicking me gonk. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I just saw this and they had a really good selection of cushions. I could have got really carried away. The amount of gonk cushions oh my god like really there was ones that even had legs coming out of the cushions and i was just like i can't i can't you need to have some form of control in your life shannon which kind of has gone out of the window as you can tell by this haul almost knocking my eyelashes off even though i got my thing i decided i wanted to open a new pair of lashes yesterday couldn't find these ones and they was literally in the same place i always go but had a total mind blank total mind blank right this if i remember correctly gonk now we're eyeing up gonks gonk 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 we're not gonk shopper gonk we're looking for it no gonk plaque there we are a gonkmas plaque three pound 49 this was but god you just know now we absolutely love gonks in this house have yourself a merry christmas how cute is that how cute and this i think is finally going to be perfect to put under the clock or maybe over the new thermostat -y thing because i had a reef on there and then it was because of the way it comes out they changed it earlier in the year so it's not like the normal square box it's kind of like domed which is real inconvenience because now i can't hang my reef on it I know you're probably thinking you're so over dramatic, but look at all this space. So I definitely feel like this could go now under the thermostat, which I like because it was bare there. And I was like, nope, I, I don't like bare spaces in the house. I'm like either in the new year, once everything goes away, I love the minimalist vibes for probably the first week. And then I'm like, we need to start decorating for Valentine's. When Valentine's goes, it goes a bit quiet. And then I'm like, Okay, Mother's Day, we need to get the house like flowers, decorate for Mother's Day. Then it's Easter, then it's my birthday. We have Dada's birthday, then Mum's birthday and Nan's birthday. I like something going on in the house every month. I just, I can't, I don't like bare things. I don't know what it is. Right, I'm just going to grab, because there is two really large things in here, which I can easily grab because this is why I had to get the tall bag because there's some really big things in here however <laughs> one more gonk i do promise this is the last gonk of the haul this guy i remember was two pound fifty he is a hanging knitted decoration however he is also a sitting gonk oh god i can't hold you mate what are you doing to me there we are are you gonna chill yeah so it's a little gray cannon there we go a grey knitted gong, but it was also a little city one. So I could technically put him next to... Oh, he looks fabulous with the pink one. I think I'm going to have to keep him with the pink one. I'm not hanging him on a tree. Nope, I'm sorry, you're not going on a tree. My bad, you're staying there. Now, I picked these up, but I have no idea. £2.80. £2.80 for 20 scented tea lights. I think that's a bit pricey. Considering in Asda, isn't it like one fifty for 24 You know, like the normal packs. And then in Home Bargains, you get 16 for a pound, I think. But I saw them. I just really like the scent. Warm apple pie. I just thought these would be quite nice. Quite a festive design. And the colouring of it... Can I get one out? It's almost like, I don't know if it's going to show, it's kind of like a caramel. So I thought that would be quite nice. I actually need to change over all of my um, tea lights. If you follow me for a while, you'll know I go through stages of either tea lights or votives. 
at the moment, I'm not really into votive candles. Votive candles, I think I was only really into because we used to go to Ashford and I used to bulk buy it in the Yankee Candle Store. You used to get, I think, like 30 or 40 votives for about 20 quid, which is a good bargain back in the day. But I can't be bothered to clean them and all of that jazz. So now I've moved on to tea lights and I have loads of tea light holders. But that means you have to, once the tea light is burned out, Shan, you need to put it in the bin. Which I just, I can't be bothered to do, I'm not going to lie. I have seen these advertised everywhere online. And I was like, I need this. I need these in my life now. And when I went and I saw both of them there, I was like, oh, it was meant to be, it was meant to be. They are two serving boards. I'm going to start off with the first one. A Christmas tree. You are probably thinking, what on earth do you need this for? It's basically a serving platter. I'm thinking of like, you could put sweeties in here, you could put a few little snacks, or you could put, mm, what way would it go though? Crackers, some cheeses, and some grapes. You know, like for your five a day. It's a decent little size. I do think it is a decent little size, my lovelies. These were 4 99 each. And the other one I got was carrots. Not carrots. I'm looking at his nose thinking a carrot, a snowman. This would be something I might put some fruit on or put some like Ferrero Rochers. Love it. Absolutely love it. And I think these are so great for kids. They did have one which was a proper, it was a huge tray. It was 2 99 and I was like, oh. But then when you saw it, it was really for children because it was like place carrot here, place mince pie, place glass of milk. And I thought, I'm a, little, I'm a little bit too old for that, I think. Like, I'm all here for the Christmas spirit, but I think leaving stuff out for Santa when I know... Mum's going to be stuffing her face. It kind of takes the frill out, doesn't it? Kind of takes the frill out. But I'm going to... No, I'm going to end on that one. But I'm going to show you this because I think this is blooming fantastic. This was $6.99. And again, I got something like this very similar last year from the range that said Christmas rules. It is a huge sign. We had to like look through a few because... Quite a few of them had like battered corners and everything. But first off, I like it because it's already got the bits on the back to hang. However, I would potentially have this more as just like a stand and lean decoration. So I will read it out to you and then I'll show you up close. It says, our family Christmas. Deck the halls, fa la 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 la. Honour traditions, be of good cheer, peace. Hang stockings and mistletoe. Leave milk and cookies for Santa. Believe. No peeking, sing carols, play games. Love is the best gift. I just think this is gorgeous. It is definitely going to be something that I keep for years and years. I don't think I would ever have it as something to hang up. Because that's hassle, like putting new holes up and everything like that. But I like the idea of it just being like a standalone piece. We've got one in the hall, as you would have seen, which was the one from last year, Christmas Rules. And that just stays there. That's like a giant one. Again, things like this are timeless. And I'm going to end with this. But I need to... Oh, I need to go and quickly change my battery. So let's change that and I'll show you what this is. So, this was 8 99 I will say as well, the little gonk bag was 180 And this giant gift bag was £2. And they're reusable. They're really good quality. They're not like the um, cheap plastic they're a nice gift bag. So if you are looking for any bags or little shopping bags, head to the range. This was $8.99. No idea where we're going to put it yet, but I think I want it in the hall or maybe in the back room. If you know me and mum with Christmas, Nana G loved Christmas. And I'm going to try and talk about it without getting upset because this is not the type of video to get upset. But Nan loved donkeys as well. And I saw this and it was just like, it's got a robin on it. And I was like, this is Nan. This is Nan in a range painting canvas. And the joy when I saw it, I was like, I don't care. I need this. Like, this is me. And I showed mum and she was like, you got that for Nan. I was like, yeah. So it is a canvas with a glitter finish by an artist called Louise Brown. Can you see it? Right, I'm, I was just making sure you could see the full thing. Two donkeys with a robin, the Christmas themed. I love it. I just, I saw it 
And the minute I saw it, because I saw it when I went out with my friend, and then I was like, right, I knew I was going back on a lunch break. And as soon as we got in, I was like, I need to get this canvas. I love it. I really love it. And I think it's going to be something, like, not going to lie, I would love to have this out all year round. <laughs> Mum was like, don't start buying loads of canvases of donkey shan. And I was like, maybe one to be up all year round for the house. Maybe we'll replace, like, the meerkat one in the hall and get, like, a really nice donkey one. But, oh, my God, you could go where the meerkats were. But then we wouldn't really see you. I want you somewhere where we can see you all the time. I don't know. We'll have to decide. But, um, yeah, I just love it. I, that is like my nanny in a painting at Christmas. And the little robin's there to show that she's there. And she's happy with her donkeys. Ah, oh, I can't be getting emotional this early in the morning. I've got to go and do a day shift now. I like this. This is, well, you can't even see it because I'm holding it now. But, yeah. I'm going to compose myself. And then we will come back with the outro. Because... We ended it on a blast. <laughs> Woo! Shannon Lee, pull yourself together, girl. We are just gone six o'clock in the morning. Friday, we should be happy it's Friday. No work tomorrow. Woohoo! But yeah, that um, if you know anyone who loves donkeys or anything like that, definitely go and check it out because I don't even think it's online. If any of the bits are online, I'll try and link them down below. But the majority of stuff with the range, I think, is in store. They only kind of have, like, limited stuff online. And I don't think, like, little ball balls or stuff like that you can get. So if I find any of these bits, I will, of course, leave them linked down below for you. But my lovelies, that is the end of Black Friday week. But don't think that's the last of the hauls. We're still going to have hauls running through all of December, all right? But this is taken up way too much of your time isn't it why way way too much of your time if you did enjoy the video guys you know what to do hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below leave me a comment what was your favorite bit and as i say the word of the video is wonk if i see wonk in it let me know shall i do gonk on the wonk throughout december i think that is like genius of me gonk on the wonk i don't think it's going to become a trend or a hashtag or anything like that gonk on the wonk but it can be for us. Me and Mama G, we love a bit of a gong, hey? But yes, I'm going to let you go. I do hope you have a fabulous Saturday. As you watch this, I will probably be at the Ideal Christmas Home Show, which means one thing. Next Sunday, my lovelies, is your first instalment of Vlogmas. How are we at Vlogmas already? How? How, 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 how? But I'm not complaining. Take care, guys. Stay safe as always. And I'll see you tomorrow. What's tomorrow's video? <gasps> It's a challenge video. You're going to like this one. Bye, guys.